My name is Wade Smith, Superintendent for Walla Walla Schools, and this is the March Pulse. February was quite a month for all of us. In the midst of one of the most significant snowfalls we have received in many years, we also had the opportunity to safely welcome back over 1,000 middle school students to our campuses. I couldn't be more proud of our students and staff. Our return to school for all students, preschool through middle school, has been met with great success as the preventative safety measures and procedures have continued to keep students and staff safe while on campus. As community transmission rates continue to fall to remarkably low levels, levels we have not experienced since last spring, we also met the threshold to announce the return of high school students back to school. Similar to our sixth grade orientation for new students to middle school, we have allotted two days for freshmen who will begin on-campus instruction on March 8. Upperclassmen will resume on the 10th of March just prior to secondary conferences. And now that our region has moved into phase two of the governor's reopening program, not only does that trigger local restaurants and other establishments the ability to open up more fully, it also permits athletic contests for our high school student athletes. While strict safety measures are still in effect, like mask wearing while performing, it does allow sports from football to cross country to resume. WIAA has broken up the seasons into three shorter late winter through spring terms. Season one, the current season, features soccer, cross country, volleyball, slow pitch softball, cheer, dance, and girls swimming. Due to the strict state guidelines, spectator attendance is very limited and regulated by the Mid-Columbia Conference for all of its schools. In most, cases, in most cases, each uniform player receives two spectator passes per home event and attendance at away games is unfortunately not permitted league-wide. While we understand that this limits extended family and other attendees, this is a requirement set by the league to ensure adherence to the strict state guidelines around campus and facility capacity. To ensure everyone, however, still has the opportunity to enjoy watching Blue Devil Athletics, our technology department and 21st Century program have been working around the clock and will be live streaming minimally all home varsity contests. To access the live video stream, visit our new athletics webpage at wallawallaathletics.com. There you will find links to home and many away game broadcasts, including schedules, rosters, and much more. Finally, it is important to point out that March 8th through 12th is Education Support Professionals Week. This is a time to honor our support staff, who have been nothing short of heroic and instrumental during these difficult times. Let me share with you just a few of the incredible accomplishments coming from our near 300 dedicated employees. Over 2,400 home visits have been made by intervention specialists this school year alone to support students and their families. Custodians are applying 200 gallons of sanitizer weekly to keep nearly 1 million square foot of our buildings and buses sanitized and safe for staff and students. Food Service has served 585,000 grab-and-go meals since the pandemic struck, even supplying food during the holiday break to students and families in need. Additionally, bus drivers have stepped up, delivering meals and even supporting cleaning and custodial needs to support campus safety. Maintenance staff have replaced over 1,000 air handling unit filters to ensure clean air for all. Dedicated warehouse staff and others helped to create 2,600 individual student classroom supply kits and over 500 classroom cleaning caddies. And our amazing instructional technology staff prepared and deployed nearly 8,000 Chromebooks and over 500 Wi-Fi hotspots for staff and students. In closing, as I have communicated prior, while this has been a difficult time for so many, the return of students to campus, athletes to fields, performers to stages, should serve to provide all of us a sense of hope and optimism that improved times are on the horizon. I want to thank all of you for your help and partnership as we support our students and work collectively as a community to continue our efforts to stamp out the virus.